Hey, hey, family. It's none other than your favorite Auntie Jai, um, founder of Lifestyle Jungle Village. And likely, if you are watching this video, it's because you want to know more about my jungle project currently going on. Um, with that being said, first, I'd like to introduce myself. As I said before, I'm your favorite Auntie Jai. I'm a natural vegan chef, your favorite kind of mama, full-time single mother, and founder of Lifestyle Jungle Village. Now, Lifestyle Jungle Village is a vision that I've had for a long time that I am bringing into reality. I just purchased two lots of land from my auntie in Belize, um, Dangriga to be specific, and the vision is incredible. And likely, if you're watching this video, it's because you want to be a part of bringing that vision into a reality. Now, I'm calling it Lifestyle Jungle Village because it's not a trend. It is a lifestyle. I want everything on the land and we'll build it to where everything is in harmony with nature, eco-friendly, and it's a very sound and spiritual safe place. Um, the first three things that I am fundraising for happen to be security, water, and shelter. Don't get me wrong, I am out here grinding my ass off every single day trying to stack bread to help contribute to this project, but unfortunately, I can't do it alone. I just cannot, and not in <laughs> uh, post-pandemic society, and as a full-time single mom, I'm really struggling to get the funds together. So. Um, I'm going to make this happen regardless, no matter how long it takes, but how well, how efficient, and how quickly it's able to um, be open to the public for uh, like-minded, nature-loving, spiritual, free, natural people to enjoy is completely dependent on how quickly I can help raise these funds, um, the first 20000 at least. Uh, with that being said, as you may or may not know or see on the GoFundMe page, the goal is twenty thousand U.S. dollars to start, and with that twenty thousand U.S. dollars, that is going to cover um, building a secure fencing around the property to help keep out unwanted creatures and critters. It's going to go towards digging two wells, one to supply and sustain the agriculture and the other to supply and sustain the housing shelter and the campgrounds. Yes, I'm talking fresh, natural spring water for you to bathe in, drink, and all kind of thing. Trust me, your skin and your hair will be forever grateful to you. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, shelter as well. You know, you will need somewhere to sleep. So I want to build to start a modest, clear campground, but also um, a modest housing with uh, maybe one bedroom. Maybe one bedroom, and, um, a large open floor pan for the dining room, living room area, and a large open kitchen so that as people come to visit and stay, they can enjoy that as well with an outdoor shower. Um, and all the building materials be natural and eco-friendly and um, I will build it to where it is cohabitant with the nature around um, yeah so some awesome things about the land it is located in the middle of the jungle it's about two miles away from the Dangriga Airport it is about two miles away as well from my home that I am renting currently in Dangriga as well. It's about a 10 minute bike ride from private beach front and it's also about a 15 minute bike ride from a more populated um, beach front. You can go into town and hang with the locals. Um, Dangriga is a really popping cultural site. It's a Garifuna village, a Garifuna settlement. So there's a lot to get into with that. Also Belize has to offer as far as agriculture, as far as marine life um, and then different cultures, you know, find out about the Mayans, the Garifuna people, the um, the Creole, all that. It's a very, very diverse and adventurous place. You can do everything from zip lining and ATVing to cave tubing and going out to private islands, but also with Lifestyle Jungle Village, if you want to seclude into the jungle, not have any neighbors, play your drums as loud as you want to, pick from the fruits and, and produce that will be growing all around the property, you can do that as well. When I say that it's going to be lit, it's going to be lit. I'm trying to tell you guys, okay? Um, in addition to that, uh, I want to be able to source help from the locals. I don't want this to be another project where someone from America comes in, and even though I'm Garifuna, and um, I have lots of family and, and, and um, blood ties to Belize, as well as Guatemala and Honduras, 
I know I was born and, and mostly raised in the States, so I know how that can come off as well. And I don't want to be like the other people who just come back and take, take, take from the people and have nothing to give in return. So with Lifestyle Jungle Village, I wanted to be cooperative with the local youth with the local youth, okay? So that means getting these talented, young, brilliant minds hands-on back into agriculture to help maintain the grounds and also reap the benefits of helping to maintain the grounds as well as build the housing, dig the wells, build the fencing and all of that. And I want to be able to compensate them fairly. Minimum wage in Belize right now is a dollar seventy-five US an hour. And I refuse to to, to, to do that to somebody who's helping to bring such a vision to life. So I want to be able to compensate people fairly for their labor, more than fairly, because fairly, according to Belize, is just not enough, you know? Um, in the future, time, okay, in the future, I will be accepting lots of volunteer help and things like that if you want to fly in and all that. But the first things first to make sure that, you know, whether you're coming to camp out and just enjoy the nature or you want to actually put in work in the land, to make sure that you are safe, the first things we need off the ground is security, water, and shelter. So with that being said, this first 20000 that we're fundraising will go to those three things, okay? Security, which is fencing around the property, adequate fencing, um, water, which is two wells, one to supply the agriculture and the other to supply the um, housing and campgrounds, and then shelter, which is to start a modest um, wood, likely bamboo shelter um, in order to be able to house people and, and host out of um, until we can, you know, build more. So if this is a project that you're interested in, if you want to be a part of helping this place come to life, if you are interested in learning more about this project or would like to donate or help out, please, please, please shoot me a message on my WhatsApp link um, on my flow page, or you can send me a message via Instagram or social media, or even um, post a message on the GoFundMe page. I do prefer that most donations do not go through directly through GoFundMe only because GoFundMe does take uh, a significant percentage of the donations. Um, however, if that's how you feel comfortable donating, it will be accepted and appreciated. Please do know and understand 100% of my finances are going towards making this vision a reality. Um, in addition to, I am a full-time single mother as well. So if I'm not providing for my child, I'm investing into making Jungle Lifestyle Village a reality, okay? Um, I'm trying to keep it brief. I hope that's enough. If you guys have more questions or want to know more or want to contribute somehow, please, there will be many ways to get in contact with me. Also, I will have a link to the financial breakdown um, um, estimates as well. So it's all coming together. Yeah, I love y'all. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Hopefully, you'll help make this vision become a reality. I appreciate all of the love and um, and a resource and financial contributions to come. Appreciate y'all. Peace.